Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about an oldie but a goodie, Shannon Rose. Oldie but a dummy, actually, is what I should have said. She's not a goodie. Uh, we've been talking about Shannon Rose for a little while, and this one actually popped up because a lot of people sent it to me. Now, you guys know that when a lot of people send me something, I kind of perk up. I'm like, okay, well, it's probably something here, because generally I'll get one or two, and I'm like, well, I know they're buttholes, but... You know, it's the same garbage. But apparently this one is a little bit more egregious. Plus it's Snarkmas. We bring back all the all the classics, right? Like this one here, Shannon Rose. And there's a lot to know about Shannon Rose, okay? Let's be real. But before we do that, we spin a little wheel, someone wins a little prize. Hey, enough. Devin Saunders, reach out to me, Josh at the Dad Challenge Podcast.com with your shirt size and your address, and I'm gonna hook you up. Otherwise, let's get to this video here. It's that time of year. DCP is here to snark and to jeer for these buttholes to hear. Don't forget to book your pap smear. Snark Miss 2023. Ho, ho, ho! Nana, you son of a bitch! Okay, if you haven't been following the Shannon Rose saga, well, it all went down some time ago. I'm not sure which is the first video covered of her, but she started showing up on my radar because she wanted to be an XP star who turned into a family vlogger, which is like, okay, I like, I mean, of the two, they're both bad. But I'd say, you know, family vlogging is less dangerous for you as a person, but more dangerous for your kids. But being an XP star in the level of what she did and then bringing children into the world and showing the world them and making them famous, quote unquote, is really, really, really dumb. And Shannon Rose doesn't seem to care. She goes from exploiting herself and, and taking money for things like Nazi fetish corn Okay, and animal killing, stomping, crushing corn, and like ju try to justify, be like, I already talked about it. Okay, <laughs> like, and I'm when I'm talking with the Nazi racist fetish stuff, we're talking like crazy. She would throw cotton balls at a dude wearing a collar, and like step it on him. It, it's don't go look at it. Okay, it'll live in your head. So uh, she lived a life of debauchery and her husband was like one of the, it was a corn star as well. And they just did that. It's kind of like Adam and uh, what's her face? Uh, the plug, Lena, the plug. It's kind of like them now where they're like in, in the high highlight of their, like of their careers, quote unquote. But Lena and Adam didn't have to, you know, start family vlogging now. Like they, they do the porn and do everything else. And like, are like the talk of the town in so many bad ways, by the way, not good ways and want to do like family vlogging on YouTube. Of course, I'm going to cover it soon. It's just, it's, I don't like putting that stuff in my eyes, right? I don't like even looking close to it, but it's like looking at the sun with these people, but they want to exploit their child while they're like in the world as one of the most famous hated couples on the on the planet like if you're gonna do all that stuff okay right fine but stop bringing kids into it stop bringing them in and making them famous along with you, you think that's that's so stupid of them that kid is never gonna be able to live outlive the shame that's gonna come when they're older like you know mommy's not gonna look young for the next 20 years like in 20 years she's gonna look you know they're done like the the shelf life of corn star i think is or anybody famous for that matter is not very long. These kids are gonna come out to the other side of this, especially Shannon Rose's kids, Lena the Plug's kids. They're going to be bullied senseless in school. And I know that bullying shouldn't be a thing. It's the worst thing that could ever happen to a kid, right? And we, I think a lot of us can agree, especially those of us who were bullied, right? But I can't imagine kids who are gonna be bullied for the sins of their mothers and their dads, like Adam. Okay, like, and they're like, well, there shouldn't be, but they'll say, be like, well, I'm going to teach my kid not to be bullied. Good luck. I'm going to teach my kid not to care what kids say. Good luck. Have you, were you a kid? Right? I'm sorry. This is the way it is. So if there was an opportunity for you to protect and shield your kids from all that, why wouldn't you do it? Like we had a talk with Roman, Roland Pollard, who just, who's just basically an innocent guy. He doesn't do anything crazy except for exploit his children, but he doesn't have anything public that would come back to haunt his kids. Whereas these people, kind of the, the world is both ways. They do all this disgusting debauchery, right? And then they bring, then their kids are like part of their channel and stuff like, it's, it's absolutely insane. And if I'm not mistaken, Lena Plug also did, I think she did corn, like breastfeeding corn, 
which is, I hope that's not true. And that should be absolutely illegal, by the way. So I'm drawing the comparison between the two because like Lena and Adam are like big talk, talks of the town right now, especially on Twitter. Um, but Shannon Rose did all that, but she left that world, right? So in some ways, kudos to her for leaving that world and understanding how dangerous, because she would say in videos how crazy and dangerous and gross that world is. They all would admit to that if they were being honest. So she's unapologetically honest about the world she came from. She wants to leave it in her past and that'd be great right? Except for when you bring children into this now, and now you're exploiting your children against their informed consent to do the stuff you do. So apparently this video is pretty eye-opening. I haven't been following Shannon Rose since she threatened to burn my house down and kill my whole family. Well, way back when I would have tried to kill him and his whole family and burn his house down with his whole family in it. It's a good thing I've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't, she gets like 10 views now. It's crazy. She has so much locked behind paid content and stuff that she just, she must be surviving on this platform, but I don't know how. So let's take a look at this video. My goal was to film a productive mom routine or whatever today. And this is how that's going right now. Clear. So this is like, imagine this is your life though. You just put your kid on a tablet and then you just sit around all day. That's not productive. Really, it's not a productive morning routine. We are on the couch. Well, this is probably, well, see, she wants to show you something real. This is actually probably the real morning routine. Kid just watches iPad while you don't watch them, right? There are so many kids being raised on iPad right now and devices, and it's actually the scariest time of existence. And we, honestly, I, I wish we didn't need the government to step in, but sometimes we do. Like schools especially need to step in and be like, no, no devices at school, no, like none of that stuff. Now, like my kids, every kid probably has a device to some degree, right? They watch cartoons, but I absolutely, you know, don't want my kid to be immersed in their tablet 24 hours a day. That's actually crazy. I love that my kids have, you know, a sense of art and sense of singing and sense of play and ma imagination. I really want to encourage that. And maybe this is your reminder to encourage your children to play like we used to play. You know what I'm saying? Read, play toys, use their imagination, go inside. I don't think that we remind each other enough, and again, I'm guilty of that sometimes too, but I don't think we remind each other enough. This is our reminder that our kids really, really, really need fresh air. <laughs> it's just one of those days where I have like such low energy and just feel like, oh. And of course, it's like the day that I have work to do. I have coaching calls, and then I also- Co Who's taking coaching from Shannon Rose? What are you being coached on? Coaching for what? So I'm alone with the kids today. So that was so low mummy routine. I feel like this is turning into, but I do need to like get ready and get my life. Her and Travis, I think it's her husband's name. Like they hate each other. It's, it's crazy. Together. I think it's mainly my hair. It's probably your hair. It's probably your hair that's doing it. Like she still lives in a really nice house. I think they have a really expensive RV. I don't know how they're affording all this. I really don't because their social media does not get a lot of views as far as I'm aware. So here's her channel. She's got uh, 992. I, I swear she was over a million subscribers when I first started talking about her. But in her heyday, she made a lot. She made 204 million views. So she made a lot of money. Maybe she saved it all. Um, but in her in her most recent videos, obviously, like this was a month ago, 3,000 views. I get 3,000 people in a live chat, right? One month ago, 9.8 thousand. Like she's not making a lot of money and these aren't, they're not like daily videos. So Airbnb story time, she stole a lot. I guess they have like properties. So maybe when they had their money, they invested in properties and stuff like that. Which where's these dumb hats? I need one of these hats because I've got a skit that I want to do and I need a dumb Hillsong hat. Where should I get one? Amazon? Oh, she's not vegan anymore, apparently. I haven't seen any of this. They tried to attack my toddler. She did another one of those. Remember when she, like, someone tried to kidnap her kid and it was, like, a lie? She, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter how she clickbaits it. It doesn't get any views. Nobody's even falling for a clickbait anymore. Less lethal ungun. I got a non-lethal ungun called the Burna to keep my family safe. That's actually, I'd watch that. Like, what, you shoot, you shoot marbles? Anyway, the Burna. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, I don't know where I was going, except that she's not making any money. I don't know where she's making her money. <laughs> Does she still get sponsorships? I don't know. It really makes me look homeless because of just the. Are you allowed to say that anymore? I guess. Texture that I have. Did you sleep under a bridge? And so when I don't, like this is what my hair looks like when. Is that just because you need some 
conditioner? <laughs> Did you wash it, baby? I just, just like wash it. Air dry it and then don't like do anything. It looks like dreads. There's probably bugs in there. So I have to do like so much work to my hair. And I was thinking of getting like what are those things called? The Brazilian shampoo? Straighten thing. I can really use it. <laughs> what, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> kids are talking to her the whole time. She's like, what? I'm talking to a camera. Yeah. She said, you know what the daughter said? She said no, she said, yeah. That kid could ask for a million dollars or a pony. And she just said yes. So, yeah. I feel like vlogger kids, if they're smart, and a lot of them are, um, would like, should. Like, maybe I should do a video of like, hey, vlogger kids, here's how you leverage <laughs> what's going on. Okay. If you didn't think of this before, here's an idea. Right? If you don't want to be in a video, leverage it. Make it count. Be like, Mom, I'll be in this video. $500. Absolutely. I'm going to count my time. My, my time calculated on camera. $100 per minute of me on camera. Or whatever. If you got a bigger channel, it's a thousand. Like Everly LeBrant, $1,000 per minute. Okay? I'll be on that. I'll do what you need. 1000 bucks per minute. Guaranteed. And I want to see that view count afterwards. Okay? You can set it up. You, you, you want something? Like, you know your mom's on camera? Ask when she's on camera. For things like ponies, you know what I'm saying puppies, goldfish, things weird, things you'd never normally get. Ask on camera, like and like continually ask because they take if they go back to do another take, ask again. I'm saying there's some stuff you can leverage here. Just saying, it's an idea. My hair. All right, let's get our lives together today, guys. Uh, your fun. life is not together. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say. A so she gets like, she has subscribers on Patreon. Hey, thank you to all of my Patreon members. My mental illnesses with sparkles. That's nice. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a subscription that you pay $10 a month for and- Answering all your juicy questions. How are you able to find out who your stalker was? Now that you know your stalker, can you give him hints maybe? Do you personally know where, know her? Is she on YouTube? When are y'all going to the road again? What place are you still, okay, this is crazy. You get two exclusive extra videos from me every week. So, Holy. so she's like, I guess she's like really growing her Patreon. Eight videos extra a month that are just exclusive for Patreon members. You also, when you sign up, get access to all of the past videos I've ever posted there. So you can binge watch a bunch of new videos you've never seen Why? before. Why and it's you? just a really cool community. No. I think Netflix has the Grinch. Why do they have three TVs above their TV? Okay, good. So I didn't miss anything. Well, then you don't eat bad things and then you don't get diarrhea. Is she talking to her kid and talking about her kid having diarrhea on camera? That's great, Shannon. Have you learned nothing? Like, I don't think feel like Shannon Rose is stupid. I don't think she's stupid at all. We've had conversations. She knows what she's doing is wrong here. She knows by saying, talking about her daughter's diarrhea on camera. That's not, that's not cool. That's just not cool. Like, I know the whole world has seen your insides, but do your kids need to have all their crap aired out in the world? Diarrhea. She keeps talking about diarrhea. Because you've been eating a bunch of junk foods. So maybe just tell your kid to feed your kid properly. That's about the ratio I put on my toothbrush too, actually. Small, I don't make, put a big old dollop. I use a small dollop. Practice love and kindness, please. <laughs> Practice love and kindness. Unless it's a guy on YouTube, then you can tell you can kill his family and burn his whole house down. That's fine though. But say that to grandma, because she said that to grandma. Yeah. Grandma laughed at it, by the way. Here. <laughs> Funny, killing jokes. Sit down, please. Can you hold it? Okay. How about you put the camera down and parent your children? Never, ever brush my teeth. Hear what she just said? So Shannon's faking this right now, right? She's like, look, it's our day. The kid is giving it away. We never, ever brush our teeth. I think that kid's name is Snowball or something like that. Snow. I think it's just Snow. Brush your teeth. I think the son's name is North Snow? Snow North? I don't know what their names are. Nice we never brush our teeth. Yes, you can. It's another storm. Another. Oh, storm. Snowstorm. No. Yeah, snowstorm. The kids' names are snowstorm. Um, 
Okay, this is really boring. I have a minute to like chat with you guys while I'm getting ready. Travis at the cabin, the Tehachapi cabin that we Airbnb out, um, like working on a few. Oh, they so they do have Airbnbs and stuff. Okay. Things. Like, did they buy? Am I right? Correct to say they like bought a, an area and they do like glamping. Is that what they invested their money in? We need to, to get done out there, and so I'm here along with the kids for the next couple days, and whew, doing the solo parenting with two kids with special needs. I mean, two kids just in general is freaking hard. They look like normal kids to me. Like, she's gonna, does she talk about her kids? I don't know anything because I've been following her, but she's, she's air all their special needs out on the internet too? That's what she's doing. That's she doing that too. I feel like she likes to capitalize on mental health a lot and like special needs because I don't know. She doesn't get more views because it's because of it. What is the point? You're not actually making any real money on here. Why would you give all this away for and not cap? Like I understand capitalizing, right? People do it because they make money and you're like, as much hate it or love it. They're making money. I hate it, but they are making money. She's not. She just giving away all her kids privacy for nothing. And I know that there's families that have like way more kids and do it like alone a lot of the time. And I just have to say like a major kudos to you because it is hard work in my humble opinion. It's not really hard work when you're just watching their iPads. I feel like um, taking care of kids is way harder than having a nine to five job or just like a job um, in my personal opinion. Maybe not everyone feels that way, but I definitely do. I feel like it's... I think guys who have... I, it is hard, especially young kids. It is hard. I don't know if it's harder than a 9-to-5 job, depending on what your 9-to-5 job is. If it's going to work and answering emails and like sitting at a desk, then of course, parenting is way harder. It's more physical. You gotta be alert all the time. You gotta be, you know, the schedules to keep it. Like, I understand that. But if you're like, okay, an oil driller or something like that, it's not harder. Right? If you're working labor and you're damaging your body and, you know, carrying heavy stuff and construction work and a lot of the big heavy laborous jobs, it's not harder. Maybe more like mentally harder is what she's saying. I mean, it just matters. It depends, right? I suppose. But yes, mothering is definitely hard. Parenting is definitely hard. And I say that as a guy who like, because my wife is obviously, you know, a nurse and she works full time now and I'm in charge of the morning stuff and the daytime stuff. Cause Kathy, when she goes to work, she's gone for like 13 hours. Like so I'm morning and night I'm doing all the stuff and it's, I don't complain about it. I think it's fine. It doesn't bother me because my kids are a little older. Right. But, um, it is hard. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to diminish anything. I'm just saying it is difficult, but I think guys and girls would actually, if you come from a world of hard work and you've only done labor your whole entire life, I think you switch it over to parenting and be like, this is easy, right? But if you've only ever done that and you haven't really done a laborious job, I think it's just, I guess it's just a matter of uh, perspective, I suppose. But yeah, both are hard. All can be hard. Really way harder um, and way more stressful. But I feel like in this day and age, like it, it's become like a thing to just complain about or say, like you chose this path, right? Your parenting is not always easy. But it's definitely all generally rewarding. So, but I feel like we're in this era of like everybody complains. It's like mostly joking, mostly not joking. And like I had a thought the other day. Sorry, I'm going off on a little tangent here. But you see a lot of these TikToks about how like my husband does this and it's like I hate it or something like that. Or, you know, it's generally negative towards husbands. No, no one really cares. But if you imagine a husband doing a video of the exact same thing, like the things that really piss me off about my wife, but like it just wouldn't fly. Maybe it's my algorithm because all I do is study freaking family vloggers and influencers. Obviously, depending on the type of, you know, job that you have, if you're like a pediatric uncle. This isn't helping your hair. It's making it stiffer and weirder. Maybe you wash it first, then straighten it. Can you do that? Just obviously your, do your job maybe is more stressful, but um, yeah, I just... Woo what? You're yeah. sitting here straightening your hair. It didn't look that hard. Very hard to practice my patience. And I do my best. But I just freaking snap eventually, you know, when I'm like trying to hold it in and keep it together. It's not working. It's not working for your hair. You're making, I think you're damaging more. I'm not a professional hairstylist or anything, but you're burning it. Um, I think the hardest thing for me with my kids um, and especially like with Storm, he repeats himself like so much. Uh, 
uh, that's every child. That's the thing you're complaining about? Your kid repeats himself? What? Are you kidding me right now, Shane? This is the video you're going to put out? Over and over and over and over again. Uh, and every kid. I don't know if it's the echocalia or whatever it's called. You know, like some kids um, do this thing where they repeat, them, repeat what you say. And Snow does that. She'll... A lot of times, like, if you ask her a question, instead of her responding to the question, she'll just repeat what you said. Oops. Um, and Storm will also do that, but he is, like, next level with repeating, and so it can get... Okay, thanks for sharing this garbage with you. <laughs> okay, my life is hard because my kid repeats himself. <laughs> what the heck? Very, very... <laughs> Makes you angry that he repeats them? Like, are you sure you wanted to say this? The <laughs> pause screen. <laughs> it's giving chipmunk. Very frustrating when someone is living. Okay, why are you airing this out on the internet? Do, does people need to, why do people need to know this? Like, again, you're not doing it for views because you're not getting any. So what's the point? Like, he'll be like, um, I want candy. I want candy. I want candy. I want candy. And he will literally, like, repeat himself. Even when we say, That's like, because you're probably going to give him the candy. And he knows if he repeats himself, he's going to get it. This kid is smarter than y'all think. He's leveraging your nerves to get what he wants. Buddy, like, we got to wait till after dinner. Or we got to eat our food first. Or maybe later, he will just repeat himself over and over and over until he gets candy. what he wants. It sounds like you're the one being put through behavior therapy, whatever you call that. Like, this kid's smarter than you think. And um, it's really hard because when you're trying to like, discipline kids or teach them, like, they can't have something, but then they will constantly so over and over and over repeat, like, themselves. It is... <laughs> It'll make you crazy. So that is something that I'm currently dealing There's with. There's so much work to flatten your hair! We've been dealing with for a while, but um, holy yeah, shnikes, they're not faster way. You can get a bigger iron, can you just get like a longer one that can put all your hair in it and just do it in one swipe. I feel like there's not enough hair, just get a longer iron. And that one will make you crazy. Oh, you're nice, you're super nice. Anyway, anyways, at least she doesn't say anyways. Doing my hair, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, thanks. Okay, it smoothed it out. It went from being crusty, crunchy to that. That's what flattening your hair does. Okay, not bad. What happens if I do that? That took an hour. Where are your kids right now? Who's watching your kids? Who's watching your kids? Why is that door closed? What if someone falls off a table or something? Falls down the stairs, chokes on something. Oh, someone's crying. Brush your teeth time. They just did brush your teeth. Why are you filming everybody? Yeah, this is blanked out, obviously. Kids wearing almost nothing, by the way. Short, short shorts. Legs are on the kid. Like, Shannon's doing this on purpose. Because that's what we do for work, honey, and that's how you get paid. Ah, uh, she's honest at least. Because that's what we do for work, and that's how you get paid. But are you sure? Because you're not making that many views. And but she's honest with her kid. And this is what family vloggers will say to their kids. That's how we get paid. Why would you tell your kid that? What do you mean? That's how you get paid? Does she pay her child? That's how I get. And why are there so many TVs in there? Paid. Yeah. You get paid every month for being on the vlogs. Oh, they pay her because she's on the payroll. Anytime you don't want to be filmed anymore, you let me know, and then... Ah, uh, here we go. You let me know. The kids aren't even listening. So she'd be like, I already talked to her about consent. I told her in the meanwhile, I was brushing her teeth on the carpet and she wasn't paying attention that anytime you don't want to be in the thing, just let me know. That's what she would say. Yeah, I talked to her about it. You don't have to be on camera. Uh what are you doing? Okay, look at mom. Does your kid not brush their teeth? Like, and they just brushed their teeth like an hour ago. I feel like you shouldn't over brush your teeth. Is that a thing? 
Okay. Also, where's like, what if you yeah. swallow the toothpaste? Do you need to swallow? Uh -huh. Don't swallow the toothpaste. Uh -huh. okay. She's gross. Shannon, you're disgusting. She She's like literally feeding the predators in this video. Uh -huh. That is crazy. Uh -huh. And it still doesn't work for her. Clearly she doesn't do this or this kid wouldn't be having a meltdown because this would be a normal daily thing for them. She's doing this for the camera and the kids hate it. Car? Can you get him his car snow? <laughs> She's like sticking a toothbrush down his throat and I'm like, and he's freaking and I'm, oh. Hey, are you getting a Spider-Man bike? Are you getting a Spider-Man bike? For you have to bribe your children while you like, uh, uh, this is gross, Shannon, you're gross. <laughs> Be really fast. Okay, really fast. okay, I can't. I can't. I can't. And then she changes the angle like four times while this kid's having a meltdown brushing his teeth. You gotta be kidding me. She changed the angle and then went right into his mouth. You're just nasty, Shannon. And then he has a meltdown. Okay, maybe just let your kids brush teeth in the morning and at night, not five times during the day. How about that? Maybe that'll help everybody. You want me to put your headphones on now? You want to watch a show? See why she said you're getting a bike for Christmas like Christmas in like two weeks and she buys she said, well, now he wants a bike and she's like well I wonder why he this is repetitive thing you do it to him get underneath the tree hey, mommy, where's my bike? Honey, your bike is I love you buddy your bike is, oh. is like in their underwear on camera like she has no shame. This woman's so terrible. Watch a show. You said the bike, Shannon. Go get him a bike. Because you needed to brush his teeth, so you promised him a bike. And now she's like, oh my god, you see what I have to deal with? Let me blow out my blown up, overblown lips. Like, get the friggin', that's called migration, I learned. Like, way too much filler that it comes out above your lip. Like, that's gross. But at the same time, she's, like, trying to tell you, like, look how hard I am. You did this to yourself, Shannon. Learn how to parent better. My kids would never, ever act like that. Ever. As soon as anything comes up, eh, nope. That's what happens. And then they don't do it. She just lets them yell, like, this is, like, free-range parenting. I don't know what you call this thing, like, granola yogurt parenting. And then you're upset that you're, and then you're stressed. So it's not good for anybody. Not good for your kids to act that way. Not good for your nerves. Then parent better. Ready? Listen, your bike comes for Christmas. You promised him a bike while you're brushing his teeth. Go get him the bike. She looks like she's going to have a meltdown. She brought this on herself. Why are you staring at a camera and not helping your child? Oh, that's why people were pissed at this video. This is actually crazy to me. And she just shown it all. No, oh, look at it for money. It's what we do for a living. Mama. Yes, buddy. I know, honey. So here's what you do. I shouldn't have promised you the bike while I was brushing teeth. That was bad for mommy to do. Sorry. Let's go find something else. Let's go to the Dollarama. Get something. Figure it out. Cause you promised, and because you promised him something. I'm sorry. Are you getting a Spider-Man bike? Cause you're trying to distract and find different distractions. Then. Sorry, you're sad. Can we clean up our toys and then we're gonna put our sticker on our sticker chart? <sighs> you're gross, Shannon. These poor kids. Hey guys, can you guys help me clean up your toys? That's, they're not cleaning up toys, you're just piling them in the pile. How's that cleaning up toys? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the whole video. I'm putting all your toys in a pile over here. Listen, 
I love you and I know that you want your bike. See, when you're doing this with a camera in your hand, you're gross. Oh, you're going to get your bike. No, stop. I know you're going to get your bike, okay? But you have to wait and be patient. She knew that wasn't going to work. Right in the microphone. Yeah, it was already full. All that to brush his teeth. And now she has to suffer the consequence. This is terrible parenting, by the way. Terrible parenting. All right, so here. Don't, don't film giving your children medicine either. You out of your mind? She's doing everything with one hand. Mommy, hmm. you got salt. Yeah. Here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. <laughs> We're tight. Man, do America, all Americans put bread in the fridge? Because we don't put bread in the fridge. Should I be putting my bread in the fridge? Do that. It's more fresh that way. Silly boy. Sourdough's good. Here comes trouble. Why don't you adjust your kids before we put them on camera? All right. Here. Here. Mommy, go right here. Baby, we're going to put the eggs here so that you can crack them, okay? You're going to make some eggs with me? Wow, wow, wow. I'm ready. Oh. Um, Holy, it's cracking eggs for t Ew, is he licking the bowl? Let me put a butter in. You want to put the butter in? Yeah. Okay, here, let me push you closer. Probably shouldn't let you get around open flames. My suggestion, just a suggestion. All right, there you go. Put the butter in. Good job. Okay, that's good. Thanks. All right, now be careful because it's going to be fire burning underneath, okay? Yeah. Watch your child around fire. We're gonna push this around a little bit. Yay! Okay. Okay, very careful. Good job. Yikes. Alright. Okay, go sit in your seats. We're gonna serve your eggs up with ketchup and salt. Yeah, that's cool. Put your kids up near open flames and let them fall off the chairs. Holy cow! What is you? What are you doing, Shannon? Yeah. That's okay. I got it. <laughs> no, there's there's open flames. It's all hot up there. Do not let your child around a hot stove. Are you crazy? Okay. It's almost nope. like she wants something to happen so she can film it. All done. Show me your yoga. Did she just put ketchup on eggs? Did she just put ketchup on eggs? Okay. Although when I was young, and I'm ashamed to admit this, I used to put ketchup on my craft dinner. I know. I know. I don't know what possessed me. I used to exclusively only put mustard on hot dogs too. I remember when I was a kid. And I don't like mustard at all. So, I don't like mind it, but I like it don't like, it's in very sparing mustard. That's ketchup. Oh, mm -hmm. it's just straight up. Using the same pan, so I don't have to. Please, that's really, really And so dangerous. Right. Please get off the table. And dangerous, not man, or dangerous. Oh. If you want something, you just have to ask me, okay? And I'll get it for you. Okay, off the table, please. Thank you. What are you doing? Holy, look, watch your children, lady. You're crazy. You got the camera on. It's like, again, it's like she's wanting something to happen so she can capture. Like, there's no way that she's this bad at this. There's no way. 
Maybe there is, but holy cow. That, holy cow. <laughs> She's not looking. She's focused on making garbage eggs. Right now. Holy crap. Thank you for listening. I was gonna come. They weren't listening. Get with you guys. Come on. I'm being good. Yeah, but you you taught him to get on the table, which is not let me eat that. You want some of mine? Let me eat that. You want <laughs> Do you wanna try it? No, I don't like you. Storm, you wanna try it? Mommy. Mommy. I don't like Yeah, this is bad. Like I'm watching her go through this simple process of like just getting her kids fed in the morning and the first thing she did was take care of her like hair and herself and everything else and then she like you wonder why your kids are acting out they're probably starving you ever heard of hangry she wait she made them wait for like 45 minutes while she did her hair <laughs> Wonder why my kids are always yelling at me. Feed your kids. Okay. You don't even have a scrub daddy? You don't even have a scrub daddy? <laughs> okay. Get a scrub daddy. If she puts that in the dishwasher, I'll be pissed. Okay. <laughs> Do you think this is the, bad, the life she imagined for herself when she's like in the industry? <laughs> oh, so bad, this video. And here's it. What? And here's the thing. Some people do videos like this and get millions of hits. It's really weird. And then she does it and like no one... I think people liked Shannon when she was the crazy storytelling, crazy weirdo liar face. Who like told all about the porn industry and all the craziness and all the fake murder and all the finding dead bodies in bathrooms. And she isn't like... But then she got canceled for that too. And now this is like the result of the cancellation, I think. It's just like nobody will watch you anymore. Like nobody's interested in watching this because it's all fake. It's, her whole life has been fake. And now it's even more fake. So this is garbage. This video is trash. Why did you guys make me watch that? Although I understand why you made me watch it. Because holy crap. She's gotten way worse. You're right. Way worse than she used to be. Unbelievable, man. Ugh. That ruined my day. I'm going to go play video games or something. Actually, I'm going to fix my rink today. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath with me today. I'm a little bit sick. It's a little stuffed up in there. But you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. You're just awesome. Starkness. Holy smokes. It is so close to Christmas. We're getting there. It's going to be fun. Thanks for being here. I will see you when I see you. It's that time of year. DCP is here to snark and to jeer for these buttholes to hear. Don't forget to book your pap smear. Snarkmas 2023. Ho, ho, ho! Now you son of a bitch!